Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you different ways that you can make money online working from home. So in the past few weeks, I have been reviewing different types of AI tools and I have a really exciting one to share with you guys today. In one of my recent tutorials, I talked about how we can use ChatGPT to help us create our own YouTube channel. But a lot of people don't want to use their own voice when they're creating videos. Maybe they can't speak English really well and they want to have a channel in English. Maybe you don't really like your voice that much or you just don't have the recording equipment. And hiring someone to create voiceovers for your channel can get quite expensive. And I know this because I also work as a voiceover artist. So this website I'm going to show you has scarily realistic sounding voiceovers. I was trying out a few of the different accents like the Scottish voiceover and it blows my mind how real it sounds. So in today's video, I'm going to focus on a different niche which is the story time or bedtime stories niche. So I'm going to show you an example of a YouTube channel that is making good money each month by sharing bedtime stories. And basically they just have a voiceover of a narrator reading a story combined with a still image and some background music. So I'm going to show you how we can use ChatGPT to create our bedtime stories, then use Murph to have amazing narration to go along with these stories. And then we're going to use the editor within Murph to add images and videos along with this voiceover. And we can export this as a file that we're ready to upload on YouTube. So let me first show you the example YouTube channel. Okay, so first I want to show you this channel here. It's called Better Sleep Music. And you can see that in all of these bedtime stories, it's just a still image with a slight panning over the image and a voiceover plus background music. And what we can do is click on share and get the link and plug it into this YouTube calculator. And you can see that this is the total number of video views and there's an estimated total earnings between $682 and $1,707. And based on my experience as a YouTuber with this amount of views, this number would be higher than that. And this is just for one video, bear in mind. So we're going to use ChatGPT to create a bedtime story. If you haven't used ChatGPT before, it's really easy. I've linked you to my full tutorial in the description below. All you have to do is go to new chat and down here, we're going to ask ChatGPT to create us a bedtime story. Now, there are a few ways you can do this. You could simply say, write a 500 word bedtime story for a five-year-old. And ChatGPT will write you a bedtime story. However, you really want this story to be unique. You want it to be your story. So I recommend you give ChatGPT a little bit more information. So that way you are sure that this is a unique story and no one else has this exact same story. You can also use ChatGPT to help you come up with ideas for your story. So you could say, give me 10 ideas for titles for children's bedtime stories. And you can keep asking it questions like this to get even more ideas. Now I've already come up with an idea that I want ChatGPT to create a story for me based on. So what I'm going to do is paste this prompt, which is write a 1200 word bedtime story for children about a little girl from London who is bored on a rainy day. Please also give the story a title. And just like that, ChatGPT is creating this amazing story based on my idea called the red haired girl and the sun King's blessing. Okay, so from here, we can copy and paste this story into a Microsoft Word document so we have it for later. Okay, and now we are ready to use Murph. So Murph is one of the best text-to-voice softwares on the market. You can use it for any kind of voiceover, uh, and today we're gonna focus on a voiceover for an audiobook style. So you're gonna go to murph.ai slash studio, and we're going to click here on create a new project. You can give it a title. Let's put the Sun King bedtime story. I'm going to click video because we're doing a video and start blank, then create project. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is explore some voices. So let's click here on explore AI voices. And you can see there are so many different voices. There are the pro versions and then also the standard voices. So Murph has a few different options. They have the free plan, the basic, and the pro plan. Now with the free plan, you can't download anything that you generate. However, you can try all 120 voices. So let's say you create your story and you want to see if you can find a perfect voice. And that way you can test out the voices before you subscribe to one of these plans. So with the basic plan, you have access to 60 basic voices. 
And with the pro plan, you have access to all 120 voices. So I'm going to be showing you some of these pro voices because I just love them. So on the side here, you can click and you can choose if you want an English accent from the UK, from US or Canada. There are 20 plus languages and over 120 voices. So for this, I really like the idea of using an accent from Scotland or from England. I just think it works really well with the bedtime story niche. So let's click here on English Scottish. And you can listen to, listen to what Emily sounds like. She sounds amazing. Castles can be found everywhere in Scotland. So we can preview some of these. Let's try some of the UK ones. The earth is home to more than one. In this episode of Crafts for Kids, we'll teach. So I'm going to go back to Emily. I'm going to click apply voice to entire project and then just click select. So what we're going to do is import our script. So click here on import script and locate the file that you just saved as a Microsoft Word file or a .text file. So now it's uploading, upload completed. And here you can select your import preference, either split script by paragraphs or split script by sentences. So we're just gonna choose this one here and then click import script. So you can click on the play button which says generate audio and preview what it sounds like. Once upon a time in the heart of London. And we can even add in multiple voices if we want. So let's say I want to add a little introduction. Let's say a little girl wants to ask her grandma to read this bedtime story. I can click here on add a block and I'm going to type in something like grandma, Okay, so let's say I want to make this first line a little girl. I can change the voice by clicking here. Right now we have it as Emily. And I'm going to unselect apply voice to entire project so that way it won't make everyone the little girl. We're going to search by kids. So we've got English kids. And I'm going to choose Grace here. So I'm just going to click select. And to delete a section, just click here on the three dots and click delete. You can also go through and change the speed or the pitch. You can even add a pause if you want there to be a pause in between sentences or at the end of a paragraph. And another thing that's amazing about Murph is we can even add media. So down here, this is our playhead. We have our voiceover track here. We're going to create a video all within Murph. I'm going to click here on add media. And you can search by stock images, stock music, and stock videos. So let's go here under stock videos, and I'm going to type in read a book, for example. And you can search by portrait, landscape. I really like this one here, so I'm going to add that. And I'm going to click here on add to timeline. And so now this video is going to be appearing as this voiceover will be read. And we can go to the end of the video and drag it to shorten it. Then we can click on the plus icon and you can even add your own file if you want. Or we can just browse more images or stock videos. So let's type in rainy day. We want imagery that matches the video. You can even shorten it if you want. And just keep going through and add more imagery until it matches the length of your video. So once you're finished, you can even add background music. So let's click here on the plus icon beside the music note. And then you can search by genres. So once you find a track that you like, just click on it to select it, then click next. And you can add as many tracks as you want and then click add to timeline. Then we're going to click here on volume mixer and you can adjust the background music so it's low and the voiceover so it's high and just preview it to make sure that the background music doesn't overpower the voiceover. So we can press play to preview it. Grandma, will you read me the bedtime story about the red-haired girl and the Sun King's blessing? Of course I will. Let's begin our magical story. Once upon a time in the heart of London, there lived a little girl named Emma. Okay, I think that sounds great. So once you've added all your stock footage and your music and your voiceover is ready, we can export the file. So to do that, we'll click here on export 
and you can choose to export as video, voice only, voice and music, and I'm going to export as video. So we're going to export as .mp4. You can also click include subtitle in the videos and then also download YouTube codes. And that just means that you have used music tracks that require YouTube codes to upload this video to YouTube. So this just means you won't have any copyright issues in future because you're telling YouTube, I am allowed to use this music. And then just click download. So it will say exporting, we are preparing your files. Okay, so once our file finishes downloading, it'll probably be in a zip file. You can click here, and this is the license, the code that you can use if you used background music. And let's preview our video. Grandma, will you read me the bedtime story about the red-haired girl and the Sun King's blessing? Of course I will. Let's begin our magical story. Once upon a time, in the heart of London, there lived a little girl named Emma. Emma had bright red hair and big blue eyes, and she loved nothing more than spending her days exploring the city and discovering new things. However, today was different. It was a dreary, rainy day, and Emma had been stuck indoors all day, feeling bored and restless. As Emma looked out of the window, watching the raindrops race down the gloss, she let out a sigh. She had already read all her books, but she couldn't shake off the feeling of boredom that was creeping up on her. As she lay in her bed, staring at the ceiling, she began to imagine what it would be like if the rain never stopped. She imagined the wind picking up and howling, the rain turning into a storm, and the streets of London flooding. Emma's imagination went wild, and she imagined tornadoes and lightning strikes all around the city. And there you have our finished product. I am so thrilled with these voices. I can't believe how authentic they sound and how they really capture the accent of both of these characters. So if you want to sign up to Murph, make sure to click on the link in the description below. So I hope this video gave you guys some inspiration on the types of videos that you can create using ChatGPT and also text-to-speech software like Murph. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next tutorial.